hey guys welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to create a profile card so this is what our result is going to look like as you can see on the screen i opened a new android studio project already so do so as well i have everything blank office i have nothing there and also in my preview there is nothing there as well so let's start it come here just um below this below the main activity create a function call it profile card now inside of our function i will simply create a rule i'll create a rule in the function inside of our rule will include the modifier so I'm going to say modifier to have a padding of 8 dp um right sorry clip now we need to set the rounded um, corner shape to 4 dp we need we need that shape that outline shape um the next thing is to have a background color dots right so let's check the progress so far come to your preview and add the profile card let's check it this is the result so far the rounded corner shape here it is and we have a 4 dp as a border around it now the color has been set to background now let's bring in a surface inside of our row scope let's bring in a surface to serve as our placeholder for the image inside of the surface we can have a modifier modifier size this will be the size of the of the circle we are going to use to hold our image to serve as a placeholder. Set the shape. We are going to be using a circle shape. We will use a circle shape and also we have to select a color for it. So we will be using it material team color. Material team dot colors. dot on surface dot copy alpha 0 0.4 float but what this will do is to add transparency to our circle shape let's check that out in the preview this is the circle shape we just added we'll see inside of our surface here we are going to include our image use the first one don't forget paint the resource let's say the id of our image now the variable dot girl image this is the image which i will be using i provided the image in the description of this video you can get it guys so you can set this up to null you can set this to null let's check that out Preview that and let's see the results. Now let's add the text. So simply come down. Don't forget we are still inside of our row. This is the end of the row. End of the row. So we are doing everything inside of our row. So down below the image, I'll bring in a column. The column we have a modifier um it's going to be having a padding and also alignment so let's add that modifier the padding let's set it to 10 dp all right so um the next is to add um alignment say align alignment dot center vertical so this means that the text will be centered vertically in our row. 
So inside of our column scope, I will add our text. The name is going to be Morel Robbins Front Weight Gold. All right, let's preview that to see the results. Now, here is it. Awesome, looking nice. Let's add the second text. I'll come below here. All right, let me reduce the space. Reduce the space here. Come below and add the text. Draw it. Engineer. And with engineer, set the style to material team. A material team of typography body two. Here is the output you can see android engineer we can add opacity to this text it's simply easy when we use the composition local so i'll say composition local provider remove this value and we'll call the local content alpha provides um content alpha dot medium i'll cut this away from here and put it here so any text placed inside of this um, composition local provider will be set as opacity let's refresh to see the results here is the result guys as you can see on the screen one more thing i forgot to do is to add the profile card here yeah. you can add it here and let's test it on our emulator then the need for these two paddings the first padding is working for the outer section how the row is placed on the app so this is what the padding of 8 dp is working for the white spaces is the 8 dp padding that gives us that so for the 16 dp padding is working for the um rounded corner shape the padding in between the image and the shape so that's um the need for the two padding so that's all for this video guys if you find this tutorial helpful like comment and share with your friends subscribe to this channel and click on the notification bell if you haven't you can also follow me on instagram for daily coding tips stay blessed bye for now